Hello. Today I'm going to discuss a question from RMO 2005 problem number 4. This is a question from Company Matrix. The question is to find the number of all five digit numbers in base 10, each of which contains the block 15 and it is divisible by 15. Uh, for example, this number contains a block 15, you can see here, and another, this number also contains a block 15. So these are two possible cases, and this number is divisible by 15. Okay, so we know that a number is divisible by 15 if it is divisible by 3 and 5. So we can see that this number is divisible by 5. And this is also divisible by 5. Uh, also, this number is divisible by 3. Uh, this Both the numbers are divisible by 3. In fact, uh, we will also prove that uh, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of each digit. OK. This is a multiple of 3. Suppose here, uh, 3 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5. So see that 3 plus 4 plus, sorry, here, 1 plus 5 plus 5. This is equals to uh, 18, right? So this is a multiple of 3. Similarly, if you take this number, then that will be 3 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5. So 9, 6, 14, 3, 15. And 15 is also a multiple of 3, right? So this is a multiple of 3. But we will also show that how this happens. OK, so let's proceed ahead. solution any number divisible by 15 is divisible by 3 and five note that a number is divisible by three if the sum of the digit is a multiple of 3 uh, as uh, suppose uh, let's consider a 5 digit number of the form this so this means that uh, this time a plus this times b plus hundred times c plus ten d plus e uh see this is ten thousand so nine thousand ninety nine nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine a plus let's write this way first uh nine ninety nine b plus ninety nine c plus nine d 
this plus 9999a plus a is equal to 10,000 a, right? And if you add a b, then this will be 1000 b. And if you add a c, then it will be 100 c plus d plus e. Note that this above term is a multiple of 9. So this is also a multiple of 3. So this plus this, this whole set or this number is a multiple of 3. If a plus b plus c plus g plus e is a multiple of 3 or this divides 3. Okay. So that is what we have done here. A number is multiple of five if its last digit is zero or five. See why. Uh, I think it's very easy to see. Suppose the number is of the form A, B, C, D, 0. Okay, so that D is not equal to 0. So this will be uh, 0, 0, 0, or 10, 20, 30. So you can see this is divisible by 10, in fact, right? So it is obviously divisible by 5. And if the number is this way, so this is 0, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5. So this is still divisible by 5. Okay, but not 10. Uh, so this is divisible by 5. Hence, the required number is of the form First, if the number is of the form 1, 5, A, B, 0, uh, see 1 plus 5, this contains uh, 15, this block, and last digit is 0, so this is divisible by 5, and this should also be divisible by 3, right? So it is divisible by 3 if 3 divides 1 plus 5 plus a plus b plus 0 right since 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 0 is 6 so 3 divides 6 therefore this is possible if 3 divides a plus b correct so when is this possible when a comma b or say a b is of the form a b is 0 0 or 0 3 0 6 0 9 1 2 1 5 dot dot 99 i mean all the first two digit or lesser multiple of three right so how many such number of pair forms this is equal to yes let me write 99 minus 0 by 3 plus 1 but how okay let's calculate this this is 34 by the way okay but uh, how this comes say uh, you must know that this is a series and if you need to find the number of term so let there are n many terms uh, so we know that a n okay this is a series this is a1 a2 a3 data dot a n a n is equal to a plus d minus one times sorry a plus n minus one times d where d is common difference this is three and we need to find n and a is equal to zero and an is equal to 
99. So this means that 99 minus 0 by 3 is equal to n minus 1 or n is equal to 99 minus 0 by 3 plus 1, right? Hence, the number of this form is 34. Now, consider the another pair. The other form can be A15, B0. Okay, let's write first. What are the possible forms? This will be AB150. The next possible form is A, sorry. Yeah, 1, 5, AB, 5. The next one is A, 1, 5, B, 5. The next one is A, B, 1, 5, 5. And the last one is A, B, C, 1, 5. C. Each of the block, each of the number contains the block 1, 5. The number is multiple of 5, so its last is it is either is either 0 or 5. And the sum will be a multiple of 3, right? So in second case, take case 2. Here again, A plus B will be multiple of 3 as you did previously so a plus b is equal to some 3 lambdas say for lambda belongs to non-negative integers such that a b is in between 0 to 99 but since this is a five digit number so a cannot be zero right a is not equal to zero so the possible pair is what? One, two, one, five, eight, up to 99. So tell me the number of A comma B. This is equal to what? This is 99 plus one. So Calculate it. 33 to 30. Fine. Uh, the third case is A, B, 1, 5, 0. A is not equal to 0. And again, A, B is a multiple of 3. So, what are the possible cases? Don't you think the possible cases are exactly of this form, right? So here again, number of a b is equal to thirty, right? In fourth cases, case this is one five a b five. Now here comes so the sum should be multiple of three that is three divides uh one plus five plus eight plus b plus five right so three divides five five ten one eleven uh, uh let me write this way twelve minus one so if i write a plus b minus one so will that solve the problem check it Okay, so a plus b minus 1 is of the form 3 lambda where a can be 0, right? Where a can be 0. So where lambda is a non-negative integers, a plus b is of the form 3 lambda plus 1. So a, b can be 0, 1, 0, 4, 
zero seven one zero one three and the last will be yes this will be nine seven right so again the number of a comma b is equal to nine seven minus one by three plus one this will be what 96 by 3 so uh, 32 plus 1 is 33 right 